Now let's have a look at what's under the statistics button. There's some really useful features here, useful information. You've got for each fence the distance from the start, the distance to the finish, uh, both in meters and in time, and from the previous fence. You've also got the comments here. Uh, so if, as a course designer, you like to put comments in as instructions for your course builder, then they would all be listed here, which is could be very convenient for the course builder to just have an overview. Um, the statistics are derived from the official optimum time and the official distance if you've entered them, but if you haven't done that yet, they will use the official speed and the measured distance, so it's really useful for getting provisional figures there. They're not just useful for course designers, they're useful for commentators too, because you can get the count up and count down times for each fence. Um, and uh, there's another useful button here, which allows you to export all that information as a CSV file uh, for a spreadsheet. And so you can look at that and you can format it, uh, you can extract the different columns, um, move them around, format it any way you want. There are also a couple of other functions here. You can export the track as a KML. Now KML is a format that is uh, read by Google Earth, for example, so you could take your track and display that in Google Earth. Or you can have the track and all the efforts, um, the fences, waypoints, compulsory flags, um, and put that uh, out as a KML as well.